you're about to watch a fraud in action, Sean Bolts. Keep in mind that everyone at this conference had to register using their email address. Most of them also have smartphones with them, and they're posting stuff on social media all day long. I heard Catherine Kuhlman say twice, I was in her meeting twice, when she said that they will come in America, God will heal all. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Benny Hinn was the warm-up act for Sean Bolts. Here he's talking about the false prediction from Catherine Kuhlman that every church in America is going to heal everybody of everything. This came right before the COVID-19 outbreak. Did you hear what I said? God will heal everyone. Now, Michael, come back. Where are you? Where is he? Michael, come on back, honey. This is my son-in-law, so I can call him honey, okay? Listen, listen. We need to pray, before I give you back the mic, that God will begin healing people in every church in America. Every church in America will see miracles, signs, wonders, because that's what I heard her say. She said that they will, will come. Danny, come on, come on with us, please. She said that they will come. Everyone will be healed in the body of Christ. She said, we're, we're going to see this in every church in America. Well, here's the creepy false prophet, Catherine Kuhlman, speaking to ORU students back in 1972, saying something that is utterly false quickly it's happening so fast i believe that this is the very last youth generation before the great tribulation i believe that i've got to believe it knowing the word of prophecy as i do this is the last youth generation before the great tribulation well, we haven't had the Great Tribulation yet, and we've got plenty of youth generations who have come and gone since she made this outrageous claim. So, all of you, lift your hands, begin praying out loud in the Holy Ghost. Come on! And all, everyone behind me, start praying. It's all yours. Jesus, we thank you for a mighty healing river that will flow through every church and every small group and every Sunday school class. Jesus, anoint pastors. Anoint every mainline denomination in our nation and the nations of the world. Jesus, thank you for your healing power. In Jesus' name. Sean, would you come? Would you come? I believe God wants to raise up modern day prophets everyday people who hear the voice of god so we just prayed for signs and wonders and healings but i want to pray out of first corinthians 14 1 where paul says eagerly go after love like your life depends on it and desire prophecy Sean Bowles has had the microphone for just a few seconds, and he's already twisting the Word of God. He's claiming that this is what the Apostle Paul said, but he's using kind of a, his own loose translation of the Message Bible. Here's what it looks like in the King James translation, which is a real translation. Here's what it looks like in the New American Standard Bible, which again is a real translation. And here it is in the English Standard Version. Now, what did he say? 1 Corinthians 14.1 where Paul says, eagerly go after love like your life depends on it, and desire prophecy. But let's be honest, the people in this crowd are here because they don't want to just read the Bible. They want a new word from God. They want to hear from this Christian fortune teller. I'll bet you didn't know that when the Apostle Paul was encouraging people to prophesy that he was really encouraging them to do a cold reading. Because prophecy connects us to love so quickly. What happens in 25 counseling appointments can happen instantaneously. What happens in 10 life coaching appointments can happen instantly. And so I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray that I'm going to model it just real quick. Sean will be modeling the cold reading technique that a psychic uses by accessing a person's information via social media. Here's an example of how it works. Oh. 
drie, vier zelfs. De vierde, daar zwijg ik. Meestal over, dus dat weten niet veel mensen. Hoe is mijn spiersgeur? <laughs> Maison Rouge, balcon, plan. Ja. Geld, ik zie uh, transacties. Maar ik kent je rekeningnummer van buiten? Ik denk dat ik het wel weet. Je staat wel negatief op je bankrekening. Ja? 9, 7. Last month mm-hmm. you spent 200 euro's on alcohol. No. Vorige maand 300 euro aan kleding gespendeerd. 8, ja. 5. Voor een huis dat van eigenaar gaat veranderen. 195.000 euro. Ja, maar eigenlijk. 41. Ja. Is dat juist? Ja, dat is juist. Oh my god. Oh nee. Ah, dat is kwin je eng. Hopefully, and then I'm praying again, at least model taking a risk, if nothing else. So I want you to just put your hand on your heart because we all need to hear more. If you already hear God, we're going to ask him to upgrade it, to make it more clear. If you don't hear from God today, I'm telling you, you came here, you heard from God. So now we just wanted to add to it. So Holy Spirit, I pray over everyone who is within my, my voice, within the ear of my voice, to get an impartation of hearing your voice. John 10.10. 10. All your sheep hear your voice. And we pray that the prophetic anointing of words and knowledge, Lord, the prophetic anointing of prophecy, of words of wisdom would increase all over this place right now. We pray for new modern day prophets who are 12 years old, 25 years old, 80 years old, men, women, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, all of them God. Now I'm going to practice And this is so nerve-wracking, I'm just being honest. I, we've all sweat off our deodorant though, so it's okay. Um, and you're going to have to help me. So I'm going to give a couple what I call Holy Spirit nudges or indicators. And then you, if it's you, you're going to have to wave. No one else wave. And then if it's really you, everybody else has to start pointing. And we're going to see it on the camera. And I'm looking for a dentist who you're either from the Ukraine or your parents were. And you moved to America. And I think to Washington State or Washington, D.C., There's a dentist who your parents were from the Ukraine. You moved into America. Help me out here. Is there a dentist? We've only done this in stadiums this big a few times. So it's a little hard. Every single thing that Sean says comes directly from the social media accounts of Dennis. This is just a big trick. And you moved to America, and I think to Washington State or Washington, D.C., There's a dentist who your parents were from the Ukraine. You moved into America. Help me out here. Is there a dentist? We've only done this in stadiums this big a few times. So it's a little hard. So my story goes that um, my family comes from a Ukrainian background. So my mom, when she was about 16 years old, came into the United States. And my dad around not too long after that did as well. They didn't know each other. And they came and they, they got married in the United States. And... Uh, I was the second son born into the family. We've only done this in stadiums this big a few times. So it's a little hard. We have somebody. We <laughs> thank God. Thank you, Dennis, for listening to God and showing up. Is there a screen I can see, or I can't even see a screen? I guess. Here, let me walk way out here and almost fall off the stage. This is good. Dennis, you're here. If you have a smartphone and some social media accounts, your life is an open book, and anyone can read you. Here's a guy, Jack Vale, pretending to be a psychic just to show people how it works. Blanca or Blanca? Is that how did I? Blanca. It's what? Blanca. 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 Okay. Is that your mom? How do you know? Bear. I feel like or something like Who are like. You? <laughs> I call you a spear bear. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Recently, like had lunch, dinner, or something like that. Chicken. There was chicken involved. I know for sure. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> I know. I know. N- nickel. 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 Nikki. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> Emma, is it right? Yeah. <laughs> see, see what I mean? Yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah. You would trip me out. Who's who's like Richard? I keep thinking Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
<laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? Richard Parker. Richard Parker, like Peter Parker, because I had a Spider-Man. I had a Spider-Man flashback. Your last name starts with a K. Oh, Cra up. Crow, 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 something like that. Who told you to do this? Because that's a lie. Did you leave your license somewhere? Seriously, did you drop it? There's some business that you're in, some kind of a business that has to do with cell, cell company or phone company or something like that. <laughs> yes? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it AT&T? What uh, the is that? AT&T, yeah. yeah. Let me see what else I can find out from your Instagram. So this is a social media experiment. Oh. There's video cameras. <laughs> Through that picture, we were able to find out all kinds of other stuff. <laughs> no, no, it's just. Oh no, it was just a, it was just a little prank, a hidden camera prank. You're welcome. See you later. <laughs> so my name is Jack Vale. Hi, Jack. So I use social media all the time, and this experiment has definitely made me think a little differently about it, but I want to know what you guys think. Does it creep you out that a stranger can get this information about you, or no big deal? Good. I can see a little bit. Dennis, the Lord, the Lord himself has been walking with you since you were a little boy. We were raised in the um, Islamic Pentecostal background, so my whole life, um, I heard about Jesus. We, we went to church. It was something that was always natural. Has been walking with you since you were a little boy. And you had a hard time there in the middle because of some of the things that happened. And I moved with my, my mom and my siblings to the state of Washington. And I was in eighth grade at this time, moved partially throughout the middle of the school year. And uh, I went through a lot of hazing. It was a lot of bullying and rejection during that time of my life. And I began to um, start getting into fights and um, started getting experimenting with drugs and, and smoking and, and all those sorts of things and not too far down the road at the age of 15 I ended up getting arrested and uh, sitting a good amount of time in, uh, in a juvenile system. And you had a hard time there in the middle because of some of the things that happened and you had a hard time there in the middle because of some of the things that happened and you had a hard time there in the middle because of some of the things that happened in your family, but it's gonna give you the power over divorce. At about 13, my, my parents start going through a divorce. And broken families and adoption and foster care. And the Lord is saying, he's raising you up, that there's something you're called to build of an awakening movement, an awakening movement, something on the East Coast. I think you're on the West Coast, but you're gonna be on the East Coast. Apparently it's happening on the East Coast and I just see like um, um, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania and God is saying he's awakening something in Pennsylvania and he's calling you to lead a movement, a movement. My Dennis, there you are. And Dennis, I'll tell you this, I have to face you and face you two ways, I don't know how to do this. But I'm telling you, your, your, your heritage in Eastern Europe. My family comes from a Ukrainian background. God is going to send you not only to America, but he's going to send you to North America. He's going to send you to South America, but he's going to commission you, not just send you, but commission you over the Ukraine and Eastern Europe. And something's going to happen like you can't even dream up. Something's going to happen like you can't even dream up. Really? This is supposed to be God talking? A God who apparently can't even be specific? He's putting you right now on the highest lampstand that you could shine from. And it's your time, brother. It's your time. Just about a year after this Send event, where we just saw him using his smartphone, he made this ridiculous pronouncement from God that the coronavirus was about to end, everything was going to be okay. Even now, several vaccines are coming out. This was in February of 2020. He um, made a big deal out of this. Fox News, who some, or some gullible person at Fox News, actually ran with this story. Here he is on the Strang Report, being interviewed by Stephen Strang, the publisher for uh, Charisma. Millions won't die. The economy will surge. This was in March of 2020. Also in 2020, he made the prediction that Trump was going to win his second term, just like all the other false prophets. Then he apologized for it and said, uh, hey, you know, I'm just learning. I'm taking risks. I'm just trying this thing out. That's not how prophets work in the Bible. 
About a year ago, I made this video, and you'll see him doing his trick on the Sid Roth It's Supernatural show. Here's a little excerpt. Sean Boltz is going to use his smart tablet to find a guy's username and the street he lives on. This guy, Terry Bishop, is a crew member on Sid Roth's It's Supernatural TV show. I had one more username. I never get usernames, but I ask God for new information that I never get. Terry Bishop 911. Terry Bishop, you're working on the show and we're getting you. Wow, what a surprise, huh? This is a ridiculously obvious trick. He found somebody's username by looking at his tablet. And this fake miracle was the best they could scrounge up to make this commercial. That is my uh, username, Terry Bishop 911. The Lord says, you live in a pleasant place. What does that mean to you? I live on Pleasant Hill. Come on. Sid Roth says that Sean Bowles is the most amazingly detailed prophet he has ever known. You really only have two choices. Either Sean Bowles is just another fraud or God needs information from people's social media accounts in order to prove something, like a psychic or a cold reader. Then, God's new and better prophets can give a generic, I know what you're doing, keep it up, something good is going to happen, it's your time style of prophecy. If you've been listening to people like Sean Boltz, like Todd White, like Bill Johnson, like Heidi Baker, like these people on this stage, like Benny Hinn, I really want to suggest that you reconsider Start listening to some good teachers, and most importantly, start reading your Bible again. Reading it all the way through, not just a verse here or there. And you're going to find out these are false teachers. Thanks so much for watching.